Hello. Uh, good afternoon. Welcome to .programming.blogspot.com. Today I will show you uh, bound field of grid view in ESP.NET. So first of all, add a new web form to learn about the bound field. Actually, bound field is the default field uh, in a grid view uh, through which we can bind uh, a grid view control using database table so first of all add a grid view control by using source code asp.net asp column grid view id equals to c1 run at server auto generated columns it means false uh, it means we make columns manually in the columns first of all bind bound field that is the example of the day asp bound field in the data field and the header text header text is you can say the column name in the bound field or you can say that data field we can assign or you must to assign the name of the column to bind with the grid view control so what column you want to show in a grid view so these are uh, in this we have two column that is id and name first i want to show id then the similar the same text id is written in data field okay and header text you want to use uh, according to you but the data field is matched with your column name okay and a header text name of user and data field name is name is matched with column name okay we can bind uh, the grid view using ag.net technologies and uh, sql data source control so first of all bind this uh, with the ad.net technologies like uh, sql connection class sql command class and uh, sql data reader etc uh, you can learn ma um, many more things about uh, these classes in my previous video tutorials so please watch my all channel video tutorials to learn many more things about uh, the classes okay uh, I will not define here because a lots of videos I have created up on this technologies okay so add a namespace SQL client and system dot configuration configuration you use for web.config and sql client is used for sql connection command and uh, skill data reader okay create a method and method stub remove this line sql connection you know very well about uh, the classes so uh, the basically bound field is represent the field under the grid view control so this is the default field and each bound field represent a single column and another bound field is represent to the second column etc as you want to make uh, n columns in grid view then you can possible okay uh, I do firstly uh, select star from the name of the table that is user table in the second video tutorials I will show you how to use uh, image field and uh, hyperlink fields and other fields of the grid view control through which we can bind the grid view and a different uh, with the different controls like the um, 
drop down list, checkbox list, radio button list, etc. Okay, label control, text box control. Okay, so in the web.config file, I have a connection string. Now copy this and paste inside the connection string. That is fine. So thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorials please keep watching my all other video tutorials which is related to uh, ASP.NET thank you thank you very much and uh, watch my channel to learn many more things remember that okay thank you thank you very much here is a bound build okay